All right. Pocketbooks, kitchen tables, and it's the economy, stupid. I think that's the key to the 24 presidential race. We welcome back to the show Vivek Ramaswamy, 2024 presidential candidate. Tell us what is growth and prosperity, Jen, is all about. Vivek, uh, thank you for coming back on. So just give us some few thoughts here. The economy, people are not happy with the economy. Their wages are going down. Uh, inflation is sticky. Uh, growth is, you know, one to two percent, which is way below par. How does Vivek Ramaswamy or President Vivek solve these problems? We have to unapologetically embrace how we originally got to three, four plus percent GDP growth. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy, unlock the American energy sector. That's a top input into economic growth. And by the way, a great way to tackle inflation as well. The other thing, Larry, is that even though the unemployment numbers are low and Biden cites that as a success right now, the reality is we have a different problem, which is that we have way more jobs than we do have people in this country. The top obstacle to every business, small or large right now, is filling those vacant positions. Mm. That's why I've said we will stop paying people more to stay at home than they get to go to work. And then the other piece of this is, I know you know, is critical. Reform the Federal Reserve, stabilize the dollar, restore a single mandate. Combine that with draining the swamp and cutting the administrative state, reducing the federal regulations and employee headcount by over 75 percent. Larry, I do think that gets us back to over 4 percent GDP growth. That's our ticket to our national revival. Well, I think you need to make the Trump tax cuts permanent, Vivek. Yep. Or even build on them. Because you've got very important incentives in there. I mean, I, I think that... I'd go a little further, Larry, than yeah. that, to be honest with you. I, I favor a 12% flat tax across the board. We want the broadest possible base paying the lowest possible tax rate. This is how we grow our way out of our problems. And, Larry, I often talk about national pride amongst young Americans. Here's a little secret. Young people tend to be more proud of a country when we are all making more money in yeah. that country. Yeah. So I agree with you. It is the economy, stupid. But for a deeper reason, that goes to the heart of reviving our national identity and pride in who we even are. And I'm the presidential candidate who knows how to get us there. You know, on that, I mean, when you're in a prolonged economic slump, people are not happy. You know, yeah. life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, we're forgetting. Actually, we're forgetting about life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. I mean, the polls show that, the, you know, the sociology polls, the Gallup poll, for example. People are not happy. And I think there are many reasons for that, Vivek, but I think one of them is a sluggish economy where they're not, they don't think there's prosperity today and prosperity uh, tomorrow. In fact, one thing you did, I think you wrote this with my pal Steve Moore, you know, these yeah. job numbers have been rising, but the biggest winner in the job sweepstakes is government jobs. Now, what does that tell you? It tells me that we're doing everything backwards. You want actually private sector jobs driving our growth. You want government shrinking in the process. That's how you increase productivity. We actually see the opposite today. Not only is government adding the most and more than mining and manufacturing and a bunch of other sectors combined, the second greatest sector was actually healthcare services, half of which are paid for by government dollars mm. instead. Mm. So this is Bidenomics. It is a failure. But what we're going to revive under my administration is unlocking productivity in this country again. That's our ticket to national pride. That's our ticket to reviving our national identity centered around actual capitalism, Larry, the best known system to man to lift people up from poverty. We shouldn't apologize for that. That's what we need to embrace. And that's personal to me. I've lived that American dream. My parents came to this country with almost no money. I've gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. What's extraordinary about that story is that it is not extraordinary in this country. That is the norm. That mm -hmm. is what is possible in America. And that's what we need to give people the confidence to be able to restore. All right, Vivek Ramaswamy, sounds great. Issues oriented, ideas oriented morale oriented we appreciate it very much please keep going buddy you're, you're on the right track one way or another i don't know who's going to win lose a draw but you're on the right track it's all music to my ears vivek ramaswamy thanks for joining us